Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching, the biggest little YouTube channel on the entire interwebs. I am your host, Q the Rider, and in today's episode, I'm going to share with you my best practices for how I save money doing my own oil changes. Now, this is not an oil change video, and if you want to see my oil change video, I'll post a link to that right here. Before I get started, I want to recognize the sponsor for riding and wrenching, Volunteer Audio, your number one source for motorcycle audio equipment. So check them out and let them know that you heard about it here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I chose the type of motor oil I use. I'm going to share with you the four, the four different motor oils that I've used in my bikes. And we're going to talk about the differences between them, including cost and performance and where I buy my motor oil. And I will also talk about some of the individual brands. We're going to look at some of the things that people say about some of the different motor oils and what makes one brand different or better than the other. Now, when choosing a motor oil, as someone who is not a petroleum expert, I am not a certified motorcycle engineer or Harley Davidson technician. I am none of those things. I'm just a regular dude who likes to work on his bike in his garage. And so how do I choose which motorcycle oil is best? Well, one of the things that I looked at is the difference between standard oils and synthetic oils. So this is a standard motor oil. In fact, as best I know, the HD360, this is the oil that comes standard in your new Harley. It's a good quality oil. It is not synthetic. It's a standard motor oil. And according to Harley Davidson, it's exclusively engineered for Harley Davidson engines, only available at Harley dealerships. Now, what I found looking at the difference between synthetic oils versus a standard oil, synthetic oils give you a, a wider operating band. So in other words, your synthetic oil provides better lubrication at colder temperatures. In other words, when you start your motor, or if you're in a cold environment, you're gonna get better lubricating properties for your motor with, with a synthetic oil compared to a standard oil. But synthetic oils also give you better lubrication at higher temperatures or more extreme conditions. So my research told me that standard oils pro provide good lubrication up to about 250 degrees. Your synthetic oils go up to about 300 degrees. Now, hopefully I never get my motorcycle up to 300 degrees. But during those extreme conditions, during the hottest part of the summer, or maybe you get stuck in traffic, or maybe I'm in a motorcycle rodeo, where I'm putting my bike under a little bit more stress, I'm going to get better lubrication from a synthetic oil. Now, a couple of things that I've heard about synthetic oils, and I don't know that they are true, but some people say that synthetic oils, you can go longer in between service intervals. Now, for me, I've decided to stick with the Harley-Davidson recommended service interval of 5,000 miles. So I change all three oil reservoirs every 5,000 miles, your, your engine, transmission, and your primary. So on this bike that has 90,000 miles, that's, I think, 19 oil changes I've done on this bike. And I've done every one of those oil changes. Well, I haven't done them all. Two of them were done by the dealer. I've done the rest. So I've done 17, and the dealership did two of them for me. Um, on my Road King, I've done one oil change on it so far. And the CBO has had, I think, two oil changes. Now, I have three synthetic oils here. So how do I know which synthetic oil is better than the other? So I did some research on that. How do you rate motor oils? Well, there's an organization called API, the Amer American Petroleum Institute, and they provide ratings for motor oil. The downside is I have no idea what those ratings mean. I don't know what they mean to me as a consumer because they provide ratings that basically state that the motor oil is adequate for a particular application. It doesn't tell you that AMS oil is better than Sin 3 or it's better than Mobile One. It doesn't say that. It just provides a rating that says it's adequate for a particular purpose. So that didn't really provide me any useful information. So you go back to the internet and you see what people have to say. Now, AMS oil has the most fans of any motor oil that I'm aware of, and there's a lot of comments that 
fans of AMSOIL make, they'll say things like, AMSOIL will help your bike run cooler. One person said that their bike, their motor runs so cool that they can touch the motor. I don't believe that at all. Uh, some people say that AMSOIL will help your bike run quieter, it helps your motor run cleaner, and again, you get the extended service intervals. So again, I've already said that I don't think that my bike ran any cooler running AMSOIL. It did not run quieter running AMSOIL. Did, is the motor cleaner as a result of running AMSOIL? I don't know. I've never taken it apart. And the other claim was the extended service interval. Well, I do mine at 5,000 miles no matter what. On AMSOIL's website, they state that you can go up to 10,000 miles between oil changes with AMSOIL. Now, Harley Sin 3, Harley doesn't make any claims like that about the oil. It's just a synthetic oil that they claim provides superior protection for your motor and that wider temperature range. Mobile One also states that it's made for Harley Davidson and it's a full synthetic oil. Now the advantage that I found for Mobile One is availability. You can buy this stuff anywhere. It's on Amazon, AutoZone, Walmart, Target. You can find it in some large grocery stores anywhere in the country. This stuff is so easy to get compared to the Harley oil, which is only at your dealership, and AMSOIL. I'm not sure where you're supposed to buy AMSOIL. Now, AMSOIL is sold through a multi-level marketing scheme, and I'm not a fan of those, but I know you can find it on, online. There's a few sellers on Facebook that I've seen, and you can also find it at some Harley dealerships. Now, in terms of cost, the Harley oil at my local dealership is about $19 a quart. AMSOIL, again, because it's different, I guess. I don't really know what AMSOIL is supposed to sell for, but I have seen it on their website. I did some searching on there, and it said $16 a quart on there. But when you talk to the folks on Facebook, they don't disclose what the price is, so I really don't know. Looking at this one, I paid $21.95 for this quart of oil. I got ripped off. But... In other words, these are really expensive oils. And again, the mobile one is $10.86 at Walmart. That's the cheapest price that I found. I want to say it's about 11 something at AutoZone. And, you know, the prices range between $10.86 and about $13 a quart uh, for mobile one. But again, Walmart, that, that's the place uh, to buy this mobile one V-Twin. But again, the concern that I had when I started looking into using mobile one is the cost does the cost of Mobile One being so cheap mean that it's a cheap motor oil, that it's a low quality motor oil? And based on the research that I've done, it's actually a high quality motor oil. It's just as good as anything else that I've seen. Now, from my own personal experience, I've used all three, I've used all four of these motor oils in my bike, and I have not noticed any appreciable difference between any one of them. Um, so it really comes down to cost for me. So it's a high quality oil. It's the cheapest oil you can get. And during a standard oil change where you're going to use approximately six and a half quarts of oil, the Mobile One V-Twin, you're going to have to buy about $70 worth of motor oil. The Harley Sin 3 is going to cost you $123 for the motor oil. And the AMS oil is probably going to be about that same price, more or less. I don't know. It just depends on how you decide to buy the AMS oil. But the bottom line is that bang for the buck, for me, Mobile One is the way to go. And this is the oil that I currently use in my bike. At least half of the oil changes that I've done on my 90,000 mile uh, 2018 Road Glide have been with Mobile One V-Twin. And I've had zero motor problems with my bike. It runs like a champ. I will be riding this bike to Canada uh, this year uh, without any concern at all. And it's going to be running Mobile One V-Twin on that trip, just like it has for the last... I don't know, nine or 10 oil changes that I've done with it. Now, you might be wondering, what's this stuff? Well, this is a Shell Rotella T4 um, diesel, or heavy duty diesel engine oil. I'm gonna start using this in my primary. This was actually recommended to me uh, in my lock and lean class as a uh, inexpensive way to maintain quality oil in your primary. 
Now, it seems odd to put a diesel engine oil inside of a motorcycle until you read the Harley Owner's Manual. The Harley Owner's Manual says that a diesel engine oil is as, as a, an, it basically states it's an acceptable alternative if the Harley Davidson oil is not available. So I'm going to give it a shot. Now, the Owner's Manual does not state using diesel engine oil uh, in the primary, but I'm going to try it anyway because it was recommended to me. And we'll see how it goes. And I'll provide an update sometime in the future and let you know what I think about this oil. Now, the other advantage to using this oil is cost. It's about half the cost of Mobile One V-Twin. So this is a way to further reduce the cost of an oil change. And again, I've already showed you that you can save about $50 an oil change using Mobile One V-Twin. So when you consider that this bike has 90,000 miles, that adds up to 19 oil changes. 19 oil changes times $50 is $950 you can save using Mobile One V-Twin. It's, it's a no-brainer to me. And I'm going to raise that cost or that cost savings even more by now switching over to this diesel engine oil. So it's just a great way to save money over the life of your vehicle. And for me, it's been a great upgrade. And yes, I'm going to call it an upgrade to use the cheapest motor oil the cheapest high quality motor oil and doing regular oil changes. My oil changes are every 5,000 miles like clockwork. I, I don't vary from that. So leave me some comments in the comments section. Let me know what type of oil that you use in your motorcycle. And also let me know how much an oil change costs at a dealership in your area. This is Q. I'm riding, I'm wrenching, and I am out. Thank you.